Welcome to Broken News. The United States is facing claims from the International Court of Justice that it's supporting human rights abuses. UN member states have signed a motion calling for an end to the backing of what they call flagrant and continuous breaches of the Geneva Convention. Let's cross live now to our political reporter, Samantha Mumba, who joins us from the newsroom, which is literally just over there. Samantha, what are these accusations? Gordon, thank you. Well, the court today heard numerous claims of elder abuse. At the heart of it, the case of an 81-year-old man who was being forced to work as a president, including holding press conferences during what should be his afternoon milky time and nap naps. Shockingly, the UN says this octogenarian might still be years from retirement, despite his deputy being a sprightly and popular 59-year-old woman with full bladder control. It's thought her ability to know what day it is and string coherent sentences together without trailing off into confused vowel sounds and dribbling might just make her a marginally better choice for a job which traditionally involves high-level negotiations with foreign dictators, complex economic policy making and decisions on whether or not to start a big, massive war. The US has defended itself by claiming the 81-year-old is welcome to retire later this year if he agrees to lose a popularity contest with a much younger 77-year-old adult baby. Gordon, back to you. Samantha, thank you. Well, the rest of the world has just released a statement after watching all of this unfold. It reads, what the fuck? What a lovely story. That's all from Broken News. You're up to date.